community policing system that will secure River State that is going to be uh, employed, that is going to employ River's people. If you say that you will not allow it, then be cautioned that River's people will not, should not, and will not allow any other ethnic nationality or anybody outside of River State, not talk of Niger Delta, to come and say you want to set up vigilante in my state. It will not be accepted. So wherever it is that it is being proposed, let it stop there. If the people in the Southeast believe that this is what is in their best interest, it is good for them. But then we in River State also, and I'm calling on our, uh, our lawmakers here, and private, we're going to begin to look into the areas of proposing uh, private bills because it has reached that stage where we must propose uh, those private bills because if our representatives are too political to do it in uh, for us then we must do it for uh, for ourselves and thank god that the laws of this country allows for it we will do it until they decide that uh, we don't have right to do it so we must gather and do that now the other one i want to touch on before i open the lines is the horrific statement the disgraceful statement that the vice president of nigeria went to make in america about two two days ago or, or thereabout because there, there is the rumor that uh, the parents of uh, leah shaibu have been able to find their way to the white house in america and that are seeking audience with uh, either the president of america or the system at least of america that will listen to them because the reality is that this girl was kidnapped amongst other girls and she is the only christian amongst them and she's the only one that was held back and she refused to give up her faith and therefore she's still being held back that is persecution of her and her beliefs is abuse of her basic human rights now her parents in trying to secure her safety and her release have every right to go to wherever they can find audience since the nigerian government have been able unable rather for the past one year going two years to secure her release they have every right to go wherever they want to go to it is therefore very sinister that the vice president of nigeria as they always do will find it necessary at this particular time which is his right and the right of nigerian government to do to follow her right behind her to go to Ni uh, america and declare in a town hall meeting to the world and to nigerians in in uh, in america with no disrespect to them it is if they believe it it is because they are ignorant of what is going on in nigeria because if they are not they should have told him that what he's saying is not true to say that at the level even in his own state uh, even in his own geopolitical zone within the yoruba states look at what is happening so for the vice president a christian who was voted for by christians because he was then a pastor for him to go to america and stand there in front of nigerians and foreign people to say that nigerians are exaggerating what is happening in nigeria when it comes to the kidnapping and killings and raping and destruction and the fear that nigerians are living under is a shame it is a shame. He is a lawyer. He is a professor. It is a shame that the vice president, who is there to protect the interest of Nigerians and the interest of his, his own constituencies, which is his own people, his own ethnic uh, nationality, his own uh, geopolitical zone, and his own faith, for him to go there and, be, and politicize this thing is a shame and is unacceptable and really and truly he should resign 
you should i say so as a christian and i say so as somebody who feels threatened by him turning a blind eye to what is happening in nigeria for now we're all nigerians for now we're all equal in this nigeria if you say you're more equal then allow me to find my level and my equality somewhere else but if we're equal then what applies to you must apply to me if fishermen if we job people Igbo people are not allowed to set up vigilante group to save them from people who kill them periodically. If he job people, if uh, Ogoni people cannot get up and go and set up vigilante group in the in any northern zone, nobody should attempt. Even it is, it is an insult, as a matter of fact, for it to be suggested. It is even an insult and a disgrace that governors of that region sat down and listened to it. And from the story that is coming up, that a state has already agreed to it. Well, that's the problem of that governor and the people that he's governing. This thing is primarily about saying that the request by Mieti Allah to have a vigilante group either in, only in the southeast or across Nigeria is unacceptable. Definitely.